Good afternoon, everybody. Tech out here. Today we're going to be going over macOS Monterey 12 Beta 9. I don't do the macOS videos a whole lot, um, just because there's not a lot of <coughs> excuse me, not a lot of updates and changes between the versions, um, and that's still the same case here. But I just wanted to, like I said, do an update since it has been a little bit of a while since I've done one. Um, we got Beta 9 today with iOS 15.1 Beta 3, um, so they did release all those at the same time, and. Uh, one of the biggest features I'm waiting on in macOS is universal control, where you can control it from the iPad, or uh, sorry, not control from the iPad, but you can use your mouse uh, and switch over control to your iPad and stuff like that all seamlessly. We've seen this feature come and go, um, not actually working, but we've seen the settings preferences pane for it come and go. Um, and if you search it, it does come up. Um, as a display preference, but there's nowhere in display preferences that shows anything for it. We used to have something down here under add display where there was something about um, uh, how to activate it on the iPad and whether it was enabled or not on the Mac, um, but that has been taken away a couple betas ago and hasn't returned. Um, so that's still a feature that we're waiting on um, that has not been released or has not shown up fully in any betas just quite yet. Um, we still have some issues with notifications where if focus is enabled um, allow time sensitive notifications don't break through um, some issues with iCloud um, basically email domains and stuff like that in iCloud plus I believe uh, Mac catalyst there's some known issues with that um, rounded building corners might disappear in maps so basically just a few um, issues still here and there left to be patched and some features that we still have not seen roll out um, that we are still looking for. Really looking forward to universal control, like I said. Um, a couple of people have been, have been able to enable it in uh, like Terminal and get it working, um, but I, I didn't play around that far to try. Um, so hopefully in the next couple betas, it's something that is added in there and we can try it out before release, because um, I would really hate for macOS um, to get released and that be left out um, for a future you know, update. Um, but it's looking like that is becoming a possibility. So this has been Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.